Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter the Master of Hoppets. Today, joined by yes, Michael. Yes, in the blazing heat, it just got even hotter. But we're going to crack some smoked imperial stout, which is perfect. At least it's you. not cold. <laughs> yeah, I still it's not even chilled anymore. No, it's not. I think it's a decent temperature. It's lukewarm. Okay. It's lukewarm. Yeah, I love love lukewarm stuff. <laughs> it's everyone's favorite. Therefore, we're drinking lukewarm stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, know oh it's not too bad. Is no, it? it's nice. Touch the glass. It's, it's nice. Good. Yeah. Uh, touch the glass. <laughs> Sorry. So uh, this is from Holy Goat, and I was really blown away by their foam hammer. It was an amazing British imperial stout. That was really rich and yeah, just awesome. And um, you and I also did a review of their Blood Eagle, which never aired, which was uh, a sour with smoke pl uh, sour slash wild ale. Mixed fermentation beer, sour, pl uh, sour blonde ale with smoked plums yeah. and also non-smoked plums, which was really good. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to buy another bottle and redo that video because that was awesome. Then get the 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 other one, the one you mentioned, yeah, the yeah. apricot one. So I saw this one, Goat Smoker, on their uh, Untapped page. I was like, wow, I really want to try that because it's a smoked imperial stout where they use as base malt only smoked malts, which is really cool. Uh, you couldn't get this in Denmark, but. Uh, I asked some of you guys if anyone could help me out, and a few people offered to send me a can, which was awesome. Uh, so I got a can from Jay, so thanks a ton to Jay for the beer. He sent a few, or I passed along, and also sent a few beers in the past uh, from the UK, and I actually have a good amount of stuff to try from him and his wife still, when I met up with him at the NBCC this year. But, Goat Smoker, it's as I said, a smoked imperial, so with a Star Wars theme kind of label on there, it reminds me, for some reason, of... Uh, uh, Tuscan Raiders on yeah. uh, on Tatooine, but uh, yeah, this is a Imperial Stout on 12.7% ABV, and it's speechwood smoked barley. That's the base malt, and then they also use some oak smoked wheat malt in there, besides all these intense chocolate like roasted malt, crystal malts, whatever. Sounds so nice. started out as a homebrew recipe, but they kind of morphed it into a, a real thing. They've only done it once. So I can smell it from here. Yeah, me too. It smells smoky. So I'm excited about this. Looks really nice, uh, quite black in color, nice tan looking head. Yeah. Reddish, yeah, looks, reddish yeah. brown. Let's check out the aroma. Ooh, mm -hmm. that smells really Shankala nice. Vibes. That is the most smoky stout I've ever smelled. It really smells like you did an Auchbier, but as an Imperial stout. It yeah, smells awesome. It does. It smells sweet too. Yeah, I'm also getting some classic kind of British uh, yeast character, like a bit of Bassett wine yeah, gum and stuff. I get that. And sweet fruity notes. Yeah. Lots of roasty malt too. Yeah, sweet, Re sweet dried plums. Uh, yeah, yeah. Smoky plums. Yeah. Smoky plums. You fan me. You yeah. fan me at all. And there's mm. oh, that's a party going on too. Can you hear that? And it's only fucking Thursday, man. <laughs> But it's warm, and people have a holiday. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, it smells really nice. It yeah. smells very much, yeah, like a, a, if you did a stout as a base beer for a uh, beer. If Sankala made a stout. Yeah. Because it's like that. <laughs> it would smell like this. It's really meaty smoke. It, it smells is really like meaty smoke, yeah. Really bacony, meaty uh, Even more meaty than a, a Madsen, actually, in yeah. the smoke. It almost has like uh, brisket vibes or something because it has like that he the heaviness of American barbecue. It's, yeah, it's really a fruity smokiness in that in too. But yeah. it's like, but it's really that it's mm. it's almost like bark on a brisket because you get like all that char. Okay. Like, or just like or the charry bits on meat if you sear it hard. If you see that. Yeah, the black, the black meat, the black spots. Thing, yeah. yeah, yeah. And some toffee, some caramel, some fudge. I, I can smell already that it's not going to be a stout for everyone, but it smells right <laughs> up our alley. Oh, yeah. That smells nice. Let's try it. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks a ton, Jay. Mm. Oh, that's smoky. <laughs> it is really smoky. Wow. Charry. Really so charry. It's really like <laughs> bonfire in your mouth. Holy crap. The combination of heavy charred malt and smoke is intense. It's like if you took a, a, a piece of wood that's been in the fire and just... <laughs> yeah, just took a chunk out yeah. of it. Like <laughs> and then now in the aftertaste, it dies down with some of the bitterness, and I'm just getting like like barbecue. It's really barbecue, it's smoky, charry, <laughs> yeah. woody. And then it has like a classic English-type character. It has like that wine gum 
uh, like English wine gum or something. It's quite boozy too. I actually don't think it's too bad. No, no, I think it's, it fits the beer, but I think it has thick. quite a high carbonation too. I'd like it to be a little lower actually. I think that's okay. Oh, it has. You can feel the warmth of the alcohol. Oh, it's smoky. Yeah. Yeah, I do feel the warmth. It's not as rich and decadent as Fohammer. That was a better base beer. That just blew me away. But yeah, this is a bit lighter. Yeah, it's not thick either. No. But it's 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 really good. I really want to try and make something like this now. No <laughs> one's gonna buy it. No. Besides me. Oh man, the aftertaste right now is just gonna buy everything. Yeah. <laughs> so much toffee, meaty, caramelly smoke right now in the aftertaste. Make a smoky Adam beer. Oh, we already did that. Yeah, but smoky. Even more smoky. It, totally smoky, like this. Yeah. This is like you have to love all beers. Love this. Mm. It does it have gets, some sweet caramel and fudge too. I, I think it, I was just about to say it gets more sweetness the more you, the, yeah on the next sip. It's like your palate gets adjusted to roasted malt and smoke, and high bitterness. Like I really like it. Yeah, me too. But man, you gotta love smoke. Yeah, <laughs> you really gotta love smoke. And, and wood. And wood. It's like you got a burnt campfire, <laughs> yeah. uh, barbecue meats, uh, and then there's like tarry, ashy, tobacco, uh, charred roast, like I hard don't, roast. I don't think this would fit a, a, a seafood. No. <laughs> That's just a good yeah, uh, advice. Pair this with a <laughs> nice a shrimp. shrimp dish. <laughs> uh, no. This would... I think it's more for its own, but it would yeah, be fun to pair with cake. barbecue. Chocolate cake, desserts. With smoke? With this one. Yeah, and maybe. then a, a dark brownie or something. Yeah, yeah, like a decadent, dense brownie. Yeah. It's I really good. like that goat. Uh, the holy goat is making so... Different beers. Yeah. And all the yes. beers, I, I, I sitting really read good. the etiquette on how they did it. Yeah. That beer should have cost five times as much. Yeah. It's really... Yeah, especially uh, the wild ales. Yeah. It's uh, really impressive how far they they'll go to make a great beer and it still costs like yeah nothing. I think it's one of the most promising breweries out of Scotland at the moment, and I think it's also awesome because they're going against the grain, so to speak, uh, because oh, they're not it. doing all. They're also doing smoky dark beers. Yeah, yeah, I, but against the grain is also a term for going against what's I know, popular. But, yeah. uh, but they're doing that because they're making classic Brit big British stouts. And they're doing this, and they're this actually reminds me of Against the Grain. That's oh, funny, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Bo and Luke. Yeah, Bo and Luke-ish. Yeah. But that one might be a bit sweeter, even. But that's also barrel aged. At least the most yeah, recent of, ones we yeah. had. But I like they're like still making beers that drink like beers. Like this drinks like a stout, and then when I, I really and the like sours, it. it's, tastes it's, like sours. It's almost. It seems like their approach is to is is like what a lot of. So at least some beer geeks are like returning to drinking more beer-like beers and not like crazy pastry over the top fruity yeah, sours. I had the the the, the um, Sun Slayer. I think yeah. it was called Sun Slayer with the apricots, and it was a lot of fruit, but it tasted like beer. And that's yeah, it didn't taste like a smoothie. But I think this would benefit from more a bit more sweet richness, just like just to combat some of that intense roast and. Uh, charry ash yeah, malt a bit. and smoke so but just I mean, a little a, a more sweet sweetness. smoky stout is also yeah, yeah, could yeah. be really cloying yeah yeah but just a little a touch a more, touch more because it's quite dry as well but i'm Some still gonna go body. like Umami 93 perhaps. or something like that i think yeah, it's, it's a totally really agree. cool stout and if, if you love alk beer this is a must like if you love smoky beers yeah. this is a must because you never see this stuff nope so what do you think i mean the close the closest yeah i mean i totally agree with you great but I mean, the closest I can come with this is, uh, I think, Bone Luke. Mm -hmm. It is. Uh, I think that's a good comparison. Yeah. Yeah. It's a long time since I've had it, but but yeah, it comes close. Yeah. But this is more smoky, more charry. Yeah. More yeah. bitter. Yeah. Uh, this would be a beer that would be a really interesting to age. Mm. I know smoke fades a bit, and then it comes back and whatnot, but it it, it's with more the smoke with the, each sip. It's yeah, it's fun because it's like and then one sip, it's more sweetness, then it's more smoke. That's why it's yeah. fun to drink these smoky beers. But I actually think the balance Fuck, is I more balanced right now with the sweetness. Mm -hmm. But I mean, that's I also like it more now that the carbonation has died down. Yeah, I think I in, in the beginning the carbonation was shake the, shake it up and then no. <laughs> serve it at room temperature. Yeah. 
It's a, it does a nice nice job in this heat of yeah, cooling us it down. Does. It makes me want to barbecue too. <laughs> I'm but going yeah. home to barbecue tonight. Nice. I'm having pasta. So. But yeah, if you guys had a chance to try Goat Smoker from Holy Goat, let us know what you thought of it. This was really cool. If you love anything smoky, I'm sure you'd love this. Uh, especially if you love just also big old school stouts. Mm. So if you already had this one, let us know what you thought of it. Thanks a ton to Jay for the can. You are the man, dude. And uh, yeah, it's always remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page, Twitter, and Instagram, all that social media jazz. We're going to say Chiefs. And see you guys in the video.